Oh, baby, what's up, buddies? Welcome back to day five of our ultimate team for FIFA 21 experience on the ultimate road to glory. Uh, I think there's a lot of things we should touch bases with. And people might not be happy uh, based off of the comment section for the last few videos here. People just aren't happy with what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I understand for the last six or seven years, people are used to me doing a certain thing with the poor man road to glory. Uh, and I know it's hard for people to take that this will be the first year in about six or seven years. I'm not starting out the new release of FIFA with the poor man road to glory. Having said that, have no fear. The poor man road to glory is coming this year. I mean, I, we released a dedicated video, um, to let you guys know, like what my plans are for FIFA 21, what the road to glory plans are and stuff like that. So in terms of the no FIFA point, uh, strict poor man road to glory, that's coming but it's coming at a later date. What I wanted to do is just selfishly enjoy the launch of FIFA the way I want to enjoy it, learning the game, buying and selling players left and right to test out, um, you know, having a good time with things, uh, doing squad builders, testing out new players when a new player comes out via player of the month or via SBCs. I want to be able to do that player and then let my audience know, mainly my Twitch audience know, that watch me anywhere from 6 to 10 to 12 hours a day, whether or not this player's good, that player's good, in terms of like my skill set. I feel like my skill set is, is, is similar to like a lot of you guys that may watch my content, right? I'm not a pro player, but I'm not a batch either, right? Like, you know, we won our five qualification games, we're in Division 2, you know, we're kind of like a gold one to an elite player, let's say an elite player in, in champs if we really focus, so... I feel like for a lot of you guys, we're, we're on similar skill sets. So I wanted to just through the start of the year, be able to test out all of these new players that come out and uh, give you guys my thoughts on those players so that you can add them into your road to glories. I, I just kind of got sick of, of, of grinding 15 hours a day for a no FIFA point poor man road to glory from the beginning of the year. Um, it's just not something I'm overly excited to do this year. And, and, and I can understand for YouTube, you guys might not like it. You might, might not like just watching my experience on Road to Glory because, re uh, sorry, on FIFA 21 for the start of the year. Because realistically, of course, this isn't a, a poor man Road to Glory, th this series. In fact, you could argue it might not even be a Road to Glory in general. I mean, it is, in my opinion. But for a lot of you guys, it, it might not be um, a Road to Glory the way you expect road to glory so a lot of people think road to glory means no fifa points means a poor man road to glory but no that's why i named it the poor man road to glory to indicate that it was a poor man's road to glory i.e no fifa points type of thing right um but i just wanted to do uh it like this and it, and i totally understand youtube if you guys are mad or you guys don't want to watch my content until the poor man road to glory comes back that's fine as well you're more than welcome to um i'm just really enjoying what I'm doing right now on Twitch. And I, as you guys know, it's not that I don't care about YouTube. It's not that I don't um, have love for YouTube. You guys know I love you guys. Uh, obviously, that's why I kept uploading content, even if it was career mode uh, through the summer and stuff like that. I, I, I still love you. And the fact that there are still anywhere from 20 to 90,000 people that watch my videos daily, obviously being that it's the launch of FIFA 21, I really do appreciate that. But I want to focus on my love of football and my love of ultimate team and my love of streaming. At the end of the day, 99% of my income, I, I, I hate to admit it, but 99% of my income comes from the Twitch streams. Now, of course, it's not all about money, but at the same time, it makes sense for the thing that I'm doing most days as well. Like I, I am on stream on Twitch 10 to 12 hours a day. I want to make sure what I am doing is something I truly do love and enjoy. And over the final three months, people forgot too. Like, I, they're so mad about the poor man Road to Glory not being here, but people seem to be very happy with the the whatever dude Road to Glory for the final three months of FIFA 20. Um, but nevertheless, the final three months of FIFA 20, doing a whatever dude Road to Glory, essentially doing an ultimate Road to Glory, uh, a rich man Road to Glory, if you will, I love that because I was just able to do what I enjoyed. And unfortunately, what I enjoy is not what I've built the YouTube channel around, which is running a no FIFA point, poor man road to glory. But for the time being, that's just going to be the way it is. And, and, and if my views drop off to nothing or next to nothing on YouTube, so be it. Um, I'm still going to show you guys my experience. I'm still, still going to show you guys my day to day um experience with fifa ultimate team it's going to be posted to to youtube 
Um, and sure, it might not be me using a crap team for a bunch of time and, and me opening bronze packs three hours a day like it has been over the last six or seven years, but I, it's still going to be a daily 6 p.m. upload or, or 6 p.m. start recording, see what the new content is, see what EA are bringing us. If there's a new player, we'll complete the player, um, build a squad around the player, let you guys know whether or not this player of the month, Calvert-Lewin, is worth putting your money into. Is he fun? Could he be usable for a while on your road to glory? Whatever type of road to glory you run. Um, and I am personally looking, very much looking forward to that. And I, I hate the fact that I feel like I need to uh, justify justify myself, but just looking at the comment section and stuff and, and seeing how mad, not, not mad, because to be fair, the YouTube comments, you guys aren't abusive. Like, you're just like, dude, I love you, but like, where's the poor man road to glory? That's basically kind of what's going on. I feel like people didn't really pay attention to the last month of what I was saying I'm going to do for FIFA 21 and then just show up for FIFA 21 and are like, wait, what? What's going on? So I get it, but I just hope you guys understand uh, where I'm coming from. If you feel like I've sold you guys out and, and I'm not running a poor man road to glory and it's annoying because you can't relate to what I'm doing right now. The other, the only thing I'll say about that is you shouldn't relate to my poor man road to glories. I'm putting 15 hours a day across the last six years running those accounts. Anybody that relates to me spending 15 hours a day on a poor man road to glory you really got to have a look at your life unless you are also a content creator or a pro FIFA player. If it's your job to play FIFA, I get it. Putting those hours in makes sense. But if you're like a kid or even an adult getting mad that I'm not running a poor man road to glory because you can't relate. Well, did you ever relate to a poor man road to glory of mine? I don't know. Or, or are you stuck with the thought process of no FIFA points? And I get that. Trust me. I truly do understand that. Um, at the same time, I've got FIFA points on this account that I've had for two and a half years. I kind of just want to use them. So the way things are going, I'm going to stick with just the basically daily uploads of my experience on Ultimate Team. I'm loving it. I I'm, I'm having a great time. I think this game, although it is early access, is it actually in a very good place? I love that the menus are laggy. The menus suck. They make no sense at all. But yet gameplay is clean and also, gameplay has promise with manual defending actually being a thing. The games are all like, I, I, I swear, I score an average of five to 10 goals a game and then concede anywhere from one to four goals a game as well. I love that. I love that nobody really understands how to defend. It's not, the AI isn't doing everything. So for me, I'm just enjoying my experience right now uh, with Ultimate Team. This feels like as close to FIFA 18 pre-patch the first couple of weeks of FIFA 18 was full manual defending. It, it was mayhem. Everybody had no idea what was going on. It was super challenging and difficult, but I loved it. Then the casuals loaded up the game October 9th or whatever it was back then in FIFA 18. Complained for two weeks and EA then reverted manual defending back to ultra AI defensive. And we all know how FIFA 18 finished. We all know how FIFA 19 finished and we all know how FIFA 20 finished, right? So... I'm just enjoying myself right now. I'm very concerned that over the next two or three weeks, EA are going to patch this game to hell and ruin this game just like they have the last four or five years. Um, and also, I'm obviously concerned that the clean gameplay is purely because it's early access and 1% of the community is on the servers right now. Once October 9th, 10th, 11th, 15th and stuff and onward goes in, where there are tens of millions of people on the servers at one time, I'm again concerned that the terrible gameplay is gonna start coming back. So at least for the time being, I just wanna enjoy myself. Um, I really do understand where you guys are coming from. I do hope that for those of you that enjoy my, my, my one to two hour a day uploads, these are technically four to five hours of recording, but anyways, the one to two hour condensed edited epis where we see what the 6 p.m. content is, we have a theme for the day, whether it's a squad builder, whether it's a challenge, whether it's building SBCs, saving, project team of the year coming up, building up packs for a crazy pack opening of crafted packs for team of the year. None of that changes. It's that That is all gonna be stuff that we're doing that I'm very, very excited about. The difference is, is that obviously we have a rich man funding. And again, I understand and respect where you guys are from. Um, I just hope that you allow me to enjoy myself and I'm not going to lie, man. If it gets to the same point again, where I'm like, oh man, you know what? It's December now. And this is way too easy. Okay. Maybe we'll start a poor man road to glory earlier than I had planned. Again, I am going to do a poor man road to glory. I just want to enjoy the game for the time that I really enjoy it and can buy players and test out players and test out this Richarlison and test out this, this Reguillon, which by the way, Every player's crazy priced. Here's my tidbit of advice to you guys. This guy is still heavily underpriced. I picked one up today and was shocked at his pricing considering his only competition right now for the Premier League is Robertson. So 
there's another bit of investment i think that is still open uh to making a lot of coins on um and, and that stuff that's not going to change either i'm going to show you guys the investments and picks up pickups of players and all of that stuff that i'm doing two players of which and again take that into account for what coins you're working with here um that i've been looking at putting money into right now are gareth bale and allen both of those guys are going to be one to watches and i have made 10 to 20 percent profit every 12 hours on these guys it's crazy how uh their values are shifting up so whenever i can i kind of go over to the market and i try and bid on a, a couple of these guys and pick them up i think gareth bale right now is up to like 100 110 or something like that so um he's shifting up uh alan is shifting up i mean I i've bought alan's for 50k and 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 every single day i still am just trying to get bids on these players i think he's like 75 right now so um the coin profits on these guys are looking very good and of course it's just nice to obviously have my coins sitting somewhere where they're earning money right so again if you're running a poor man road to glory no fifa point whatever the case may be the only thing you don't want to be doing is what is looking at what i have at the top left of the screen you don't want to be sitting on coins because those 338k if i had just put even those into more allens that 338k would be 450k right now right so that's what you want to do you always want to keep your money working for it's the same thing even if you have 33k put that 33k into three reguillons i guarantee you that 33k in the next hour or two even is going to turn into 45k so for the launch of the game that is what you want to be do doing at least in my opinion run the foot market is obviously a much better professional matt from foot trading those guys are um much better professionals so you might want to be paying attention to them foot spy knows what he's talking about on twitter so there's a lot of guys that are way better at the market than me i'm not saying you got to listen to everything i'm saying but so far that's what's been working for me and i want to keep this th th this going right we're now past 6 p.m so we've got 6 p.m content as well that i'm looking forward to um the last few days we haven't really had 6 p.m content again it's early access so can you really uh blame not getting any uh 6 p.m content that's probably going to start coming uh on friday and speaking of friday another thing that i think is going to be very good uh for just my enjoyment of ultimate team and hopefully for you guys as well is this new team of the week is looking crazy so I, i've got the man united game on in the background they're getting clapped 5-1 right now by spurs Leeds had a crazy game yesterday as you guys might have seen glimpses of it from the episode that i was watching the game live while we were recording yesterday's um uh, uh ultimate rtg episode um so it's been an amazing weekend being uh, a football fan at least uh, at least for me now because it's been such a good weekend i think this team of the week is going to be crazy so we're gonna get either uh the american kid reyna or Holland from the dortmund game as an inform uh if you want to make a bunch of money Holland, obviously um we're looking at a inform son here from this man united game two goals one assist we're looking at an inform neymar uh we're looking at maybe an inform james rodriguez like this this upcoming team of the week too is absolutely crazy um and having said that i think for my enjoyment of the game what i want to do for the charity stream coming up uh october 9th is i want to build up some big dog packs uh from sbc's wait no way is it actually 6-1 spurs just earned a pen dude man united is truly in the mud are they actually going 1-0-2 right now oh oh it's so sloppy is that pogba who gave that away who gave the pen away oh it's pogba oh my lord have mercy anyways um what i would like to do is build up some sick packs so a 25k pack for friday one to watch launches on friday upcoming so uh uh bail allen will be one to watch cards also obviously on friday there's going to be some sick informs available in packs so what i'd like to do is have a bunch of packs for the charity stream ready to go on that day so i think we're going to build up uh save that pack the 25k pack and maybe the prime electrum pack and maybe the premium mixed player pack these other packs will just open whenever we unlock this so at some point probably on tuesday for the full game we'll unlock the uh the the, the marquee matchups for that day's experience or that day's epi uh on ultimate team or on the ultimate road to glory uh hybrid league so you get a rare mega pack that will save for friday uh rare players pack so 50k pack will save this for friday uh the mega pack will save for friday prime electron pack will save for friday and prime mix damn man that's five insanely good packs from the hybrid leagues okay and then hybrid nations is another uh rare mega pack which is unreal so we'll save that for friday rare another 50k pack we'll save for friday 
Prime Gold Player Pack will save for Friday. Gold Player Pack's kind of dead, and Electrum Pack's kind of dead, so we'll probably just open those, maybe even today. Um, League Nation, so there's... What do you get for this one? 13k coins, okay. And then what are the packs here? A rare Mega Pack? A Mega Pack. A 25k pack. So we're going to have, like, what? Like, 20 big packs ready to go for Friday? Just from these SBCs? Okay. Ba League Nation's base six is, is kind of dead. Um, this is kind of dead. I finally just, I, I, I packed a Declan Rice. So, I mean, we could throw a Declan Rice in here and just be done with this. What do you guys think? Um, where is he? In the Prem, right? Uh, there he is. The, look at how delayed the menus are. Again, I love it. I'm not going to lie. If the menus stay delayed... <laughs> And, uh, and the gameplay stays clean, I'm down, bro. Give us a year of crap menus and actual fun gameplay for all of us that want to grind gameplay all year. I'm in, baby. I'm so in. I would like nothing more. Um, look at how delayed. Do you see that? Look at, look at the, look at the, it's like on one FPS. What is up with this game, bro? There's 1% of the community on the servers. What? How is this so horrendous? Um, in fact, I'm just going to see, is it my Elgato again? What is going on with this piece of crap? Is it a glitch? I don't know. I feel like every time I load up FIFA, I do have to redo, like reset the Elgato. Okay. Anyways, things seem to be, uh, th things seem to be all right here. So without further ado, um, don't you love that this is still a glitch where it doesn't shift over? Uh, by the way. As much compliments as I want to give EA early launch. Hey guys, how are we a billion dollar company and yet you can't have it where when I shift to squad battles, the screen follows. How is it like just nowhere to be found? Like, see, it, the screen doesn't shift over so I know what I'm on. You have to like back out and then click here and oh, there's the squad battles tab. But oh, oh wait, what? Oh, no, the squad battles tab is gone again. Amazing. Fantastic. I find that absolutely ridiculous. Um, So again, Obviously going to compliment EA when they deserve it, but at the same time, when they do silly stuff like that on release, uh, we're going to have to try and call them out here. So I'm going to refresh. only have three, um, five remaining refreshes, but that's fine. So what the goal is here, and uh, oh my god, 81 rated. What is this on 20 chem? Okay, should we take this on on Legendary? Anyone think that um, <laughs> Sherry Chev is going to have the game of his life? Sherry Chef, this is the ugliest team I think I've ever seen. Um, so, another thing, obviously, that you want to be doing on your road to glory, especially if you have limited hours like me, we're on our final two hours of early access, is you want to try and get, because tonight there is uh, squad battle rewards, get these games in. Try and get yourself at least, what I'm aiming for is Gold 1 or Elite 3. I don't know if Elite 3 is possible. If with two hours left, I think I can get six games in. 2000 so 1200 Nah, i can't do it i can't get a lead unfortunately can i on for a hey, sucks but i'm on early access so i can't sit here and spam games endlessly like people that have the full game right now um so what i'll do is at least lock up gold one gold one's not bad premium gold player pack primix player pack and jumbo pack will save for friday for the one to watch promo release and for the uh, new team of the weeks being in pack. So we'll save all of those going. Only have 10 minutes now. What do you mean? Oh, you okay. People are trolling because my intro take my intros take so long. I actually believed my chat for a second there. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what happened? How do we only have? Yeah. You know what? You're it's not wrong. I probably only have an hour and a half left anyways. Okay. So let's get into it again. YouTube. Uh, you guys are probably going to be seeing uh, just the, the, the team, me load up against the team. So this is what I'm running. Uh, today, I just wanted to run like a Premier League team. Uh, obviously, we packed some nuts players uh, recently. I'm holding them all because their prices are shifting up. Hyung Min before the Spurs game was what, like 280, right? So I'm glad I held on to him. Uh, what is his price right now? Bro, he's 400k. He's 450 even. No, he's 400. He's gone up 100k. Since this Man United game's launched, obviously people thinking he's going to get an inform. So, because he won't be in packs as of Wednesday onwards, this card will go naturally go up in price anyways. Obviously, that's why his price is shifting up. Um, okay. 
Are we talking another red here? Uh, for Spurs? No, it's a yellow, it looks like. Okay. Uh, this is working, by the way. Early days. I think EA are going to need to patch this. But press, uh, press after possession loss is doing very well online and offline on Legendary. Uh, Mane is going to be wide. I'm going to try De Bruyne Central. I know he's a lot of money. But I feel like even to let you guys know whether or not he's good, I'm wasting him. I, using him as a box-to-box -box mid is definitely not his position. So I want to see uh, at Central Cam how De Bruyne feels. Richarla Goat going back to using him. Mane out wide is crazy. He's 400k though, obviously. So it's going to take a while for a lot of you guys to earn him. Bale at 100k. Um, I, I didn't notice much of a difference between him and Bowen or Bowden or whatever the hell that informs name is from uh, West Ham. And then the back line is crazy as well, of course, um, for the time being with these players. So that is what we are rolling with. I don't even have a defensive setup. I kind of just go all out attack. So let's see what the first game will be able to finish it with. So good news, fellow YouTube buddies. Um, this squad battle glitch is still here. Scored my five goals in the first half. Second half kicked off. Do a fake shot at the halfway line and... It just breaks the AI. So for those of you guys that are running Poor Man Road to Glories, uh, that need a way to make coins, if you're good enough to get goals against the AI, as long as you can get the max amount of goals, four or five goals, from there to avoid getting cheese because the AI on Legendary is crazy good. They almost scored on me twice here. Um, you just do this and then it kind of locks up your points. It's not a glitch. It's just something that EA haven't fixed in the game yet. Hopefully it stays like this the rest of the year. But you just go to the halfway line and fake shot. And then the AI just stays off of you. You don't touch anything else. You literally do a standing fake shot, leave everything, and then it's um, it's good to go from there. So we did well. Um, uh, in terms of the team, I know it's obviously a bit early to talk about the team and uh, legendary AI or otherwise. I don't think it really matters too, too much. But La Celso is kind of spicy and Reguillon is pretty good too. So I don't know what La Celso's price. I feel like La Celso is criminally underpriced. I don't know if he's still 2 or 3K, but... I just think for, for the types of players like where Sissoko is like 80k or 60 or 70k, La Celso's criminally, criminally underpriced right now. So I, I would go with him. And in fact, Ndombele is only 7k too. So there's options out there, right? You don't have to go get the Sissokos just yet. Reguillon as well for 12k. Are you going to really be spending 12k on a left back at the start of the game on a, on a no FIFA point road to glory? Maybe not, but he is good. I mean, if you don't want to spend, what is it? 50k or 60k on Robertson. Um, so far, so good. There you go. 83% possession against legendary AI. Mad. Absolutely mad. So that's enough. Wait, why was that 1,600 points? Wait, that was legendary. What? Oh, 2,600 points. Another glitch, dude. What the heck, man? This game is so full of glitches already. It's ridiculous. All right, I'm going to update opponents again. I have four refreshes. Either way, I'm only going to get a little bit of time anyways. Um, wow, everybody's got, like, there's no, like, bronze teams, hey? Okay, whatevs. Um, so we'll probably play this one next. Before we skip off into that, I do think I've got a few, like, objectives done, right? So let's go have a look. Uh, did we talk about this during the episode yesterday? I do want to reiterate for people like ruining their own gaming experience by trying to finish every possible objective quickly. I would implore kind of the same process I'm trying to take with this road to glory is you try and enjoy the, the, the enjoy the journey. I know that's cringe. I sound like an Instagram motivational account with my toddies hanging out. Enjoy life's journey and the walk with your friends and not the finish line with my cleavage. But it is true, right? It genuinely is true. Like, I, it's it's the start of the game. We're, none of us are going to be able to, like, enjoy this start ever again for FIFA 21. So, like, enjoy the moment, man. This is the best time of year for Ultimate Team fans. So enjoy it. Like, sitting there and killing yourself and burning yourself out trying to get all of this done immediately. Just enjoy it. If it takes you five or six games to do it, who cares? Have fun with it, man. This is... I was watching Zway trying to complete this. Zway was losing games like 19-7. It was crazy. It wasn't 19-7. Maybe Zway lost the game 9-4 or something like that. But anyways, like just enjoy the process. Enjoy the learning experience. The best part about doing this stuff in friendlies that they've done this year is that you still get coins. You still get match coins, which is fantastic as well. So don't quit out of games either. Um, and that is exactly what I'm trying to do here. Like these milestones, I'm just trying to... Ooh, we got another uh, uh, TIFO. Cool. 
Oh, we unlocked the, the lower stand TIFO too. Let's go, dudes. Hell yeah. Okay. Club nickname. So we need uh another seven matches for the uh club nickname. Okay. All right, I'm down. Squad battles. Eight out of ten on that almost. Let's go. Rivals mastery. Obviously only five out of ten on that. But for the charity stream, we're going to be playing for 40 hours straight. So uh, we'll probably get a lot of this stuff done. This is cool. I love the purple. I really hope that they go the extra mile with milestones, though. And, and, and like, br start bringing in, like, deep, grindable, but players. Upgradable players. Is that so much to ask? Grinding towards unlocking a whatever, dude. An Usman Dembele that over the course of the year you can upgrade him? Like, ah, man. I really think that's one of the few things Pez does well. In terms of, like, the, uh, the depth of upgradability for players. I don't think EA will do that. So what's that? Score two goals in 10 separate matches? Boom. Kind of dead that it's only a um, whatever that is and not coins or packs, right? I know Road to Glory guy's probably not that happy about that. Um, but anyways, 50, 50, score. F I've scored 50 goals? Okay. That's kind of mad. I didn't realize that. Oh, we got a two rare player pack. Nice. So what do you guys think? Two rare player packs? Do we save those for uh, hey, the Bash. one to watch event, or is that kind of a crap pack? I don't know what if do I'm think? just bad, but this game is kind of ridiculous with the ball bouncing back to opponents after tackles, and I got beat by bronze team when I have Edison players with 45 shooting scoring on me like Germany versus Brazil in Yeah, but CKY, okay, I love you. You're a big supporter of this channel, but that thought process is flawed, man. I hate, You're going to hate me for saying this, and please don't take offense, but you yourself have admitted that you are a casual. And you went, what, one in five in your first five, six games? Bro, this game does have an actual skill gap. So just because you have good players, if you come up against someone, it's early access. If you're a casual, you're one of few casuals on the game right now. Early access is filled with tryhard sweats. So you're going to get beat by guys that are better than you, even if they've got crap teams. I mean, I have almost I almost lost one of my qualification games and the guy's best player was that uh, idiotic mid, uh, midfielder, Renato, Renato Sanchez. So this game has a skill gap and, and, and it's good that way. It is, man. I just, I pray casuals don't go in, in mass in the millions and start complaining, complaining all over the place to EA because they can't win games even if they have good players. Like I really really hope man like every year and i don't mean this as a fence i know casuals watch my content too but casuals ruin this game year in year out man they complain so much and ea kill the skill gap they bring back heavy ai defending and then the rest of the year is just people playing the one depth drop back meta which lets uh, just the defenders do everything and then you run down for counters and it, it just ruins the game every year the fact that this game right now where everybody's averaging games five six seven eight goals scored i love that man that's what video games should be video games should be fun and 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 and, and pandemonium and craziness and and finishing games by scoring a million goals not a freaking like jose Mourinho classic which is kind of crazy considering he just smashed united 6-1 but like a, a dead one nothing game like I, i'm so sick of that we've had like three four years of of boring endless gameplay where it's one nothing and and just creating a billion chances and having the ai make a thousand blocks a game like i really 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 hope um that it's not going to be another year of that dude am i there or thereabouts no i'm not okay i'm not so th those, those are my those are my uh initial thoughts on everything man I, I i don't know if you guys agree or disagree with it and i guess it's fine if you agree or disagree with it um i know it might look weird me selling off casimero but i just i think i'd rather put my money elsewhere if, uh, if that makes sense. I hate that this guy still has this price tag. So stupid. But anyways. Um, casuals equals 90% of the player base. But that is exactly why you know EA is going to cater to them. That's why the game gets ruined every year. Because casuals are the ones that earn another investment opportunity in my eyes, man. Uh, the fact that Ramos has not gone up at all in the last two days is crazy. Um... I, I, I find that nuts. He has not shifted upwards at all. Um, so, oops. So, I want to see where uh, this dude's prices go. Like, people put no respect on Ramos. What? Because he doesn't have 80 pace? 
Come on. Oh god, Holland is breaking my soul, dude. How is he so much? Oh god. So this is I thought an absurd price. And now this is get this is the second one that's gone on bid for over six mil. Absolutely, absolutely insane, man. Um anyways, it is what it is. Let's get ourselves into uh another squad battle game. See uh see if we can lock up another five nothing win. Who has six million for one player? Well, the ultimate road to glory guys, the rich man guys, right? Um uh, you know what, dude? I would be surprised if Run the Fup Market doesn't already have close to one or two mil in funding. And he's running a trading account, right? Um, do you think Inform Upa Meccano will increase in price? Yeah, I told my viewers to pick him up yesterday and the day before, dude. He was 100k. So cheap for how good he is. Considering what other center backs of his quality are, price-wise... Run the Fought Market already has a mill. So there's another tidbit of info before we get into this game and, and then skip to the end. Again, people say, oh man, like look at what Run the Fought Market is doing on a, on a, on a no feeble boy road to glory. Or, or Nick, oh look at what you, Nick 20T, were able to do on a poor man road to glory last year. Screw FIFA points. Bros, You we got to move away from that. Giving me credit last year when I was spending 15 hours a day on my poor man Road to Glory is ridiculous. That is not a normal no FIFA point Road to Glory. And Run the Fun Market is genuinely one of the most intelligent people when it comes to real life trading and when it comes to game trading. You can't look at what me or him do on our Road to Glories and say, look at what you can do. Screw all these guys spending FIFA points. Like what we're doing is nuts on, on any level. Right? It's like, you, you can't compare to that, man. You absolutely can't compare to that. Anyway. Arkadiusz Milik. In possession, lost, intercepted. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Bill, what in the flying sweet Jesus? I can't believe I haven't... What the hell is up with this man? Oh my god, dude. I can't believe I haven't been able to make it five. Anyways, there it is, boys. Um, four nothing, I think is still good. I think we'll get like 23, maybe maybe 2,400 points. So it's not, it's not the end of the world. Um, but still annoying. Pickford... With four saves. That's uncharacteristic. He's got like butterfingers usually too, doesn't he? At least in real life. Look at that. Dominant performance, but weren't able to make a trans uh to translate. Um anyways. We've got a few things we gotta talk about here, okay? Um I think after this discussion my camera just gave up. So my apparently my camera doesn't even want to be part of anything. So that's interesting, of course. Um, I got to turn it back on boys. I apologize. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, I might release an epi for my, uh, sorry, a video for my day off tomorrow. Um, to have a discussion with you guys about maybe, maybe. Hmm. Maybe doing something where I do every I get all of the fun that I wanted from running an ultimate RTG at least for the first week or two but then we start a poor man road to glory but around a player maybe so like a Cruyff to glory or a Hullet to glory where we get Cruyff and then it's I, I, I have bronzes with nothing in the club and we start like that maybe so we'll talk about that tomorrow potentially as being a thing because then i get all the fun i get out of being able to use a few players for the first week or two or maybe for the launch of the game then um and then like the the, the weekend after the charity stream we start the player rtg maybe maybe Harry Maguire RTG? 
So then it's basically a, let's say a haul it to glory um, as of Monday the 12th onwards. Maybe. It's either going to be that, and then we run a no FIFA points, poor man road to glory with Hullet for the rest of the year. Or it's going to be the ultimate road to glory where we do whatever we want, and then the poor man road to glory starts team of the season. I think that those are the only two options. I'm not starting a poor man road to glory until team of the season. Like a no FIFA point, poor man road to glory. I'm not starting it until team of the season. I'm not opposed to running a player themed poor man road to glory though. A Cruyff to glory, a Hullet to glory, or an R9 to glory, a Dino to glory, something like that. I'm not, a, I'm not opposed to that. The thing is, with a Hullet poor man... Let's talk about it tomorrow, okay? Let's talk about it tomorrow. Let's finish off um, this epi, at least with uh, the absolute craziness... That is going to be the new team of the week. So, as of right now, we are looking like... Did Lewandowski get that fourth goal? I don't know if the game's even done yet, but I think Lewandowski has four goals with Bayern on a 4-3 win. We're potentially looking at Theo Hernandez as well getting in? My lord. He got the game winner too. Okay, full-time Bayern 4-3. So, we're getting an informed Lewandowski. Okay? Just, just so you guys are aware, this is what we could be looking at here. Um, in terms of this team of the week too. So at least for the charity stream, we can have some fun trying to get these guys. And really at the end of the day, we're building up the coin balance, uh, I guess to get, to get maybe, maybe a player for a poor man road to glory. But the theme this year will be one player. So Nep's doing a, a first owner, poor man. So my theme this year would be a Hullet poor man. Basically a Hullet to glory, but no FIFA point style. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I like, like Mini Minter. I think Mini Minter does like a Zidane. Did a what? Didn't he do like a Zidane to glory last year? Reeve does like a Royce to glory every year as well. Why Hullet? I just, I like Hullet. I like Hullet. I think Hullet would be a fun play. Because the Hullet I buy could be in the team... The, and that would be the rule, is the player that we do the, the, the theme around has to be in the team for every game ever. Yeah, Zidane zone, right? Mini Minter did that. I don't know if, I don't know if, the, I don't know if Reeve or even Simon were running a, um, uh, were running a, like, uh, strict, no FIFA point, poor man road to glory after they got their player. I don't know if they did that or not, right? But that would be my, 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 my process. Anyways, we'll talk about that. For tomorrow's epi i don't want to confuse people too too much um but just know that this upcoming team of the week is looking at having just on the forefront this man in it this man in it um it could be son it could be kane if ea want to make a lot of money it'll be young men if they go by probably earned it's probably going to be kane um uh We've got this man in it, or the American kid, Reyna, or whatever, for the three assists. You've got uh, James, I guess, which not many people are going to care about, um, other than Everton fans, because obviously the pace isn't great. But you're going to get James probably in there, right? Um, what, what else? What else? Oh, Chilwell, maybe? I, I don't know if EA go that heavy for the Prem. But we're going to get... Uh, oh, whoops. Chilwell's probably going to get in, right? Maybe if they give him like 80 pace, he'd be semi-usable. The fridge. Um, Arsenal fans saying Bellerin. I don't know, man. I don't know if they're going to... I don't know if there's going to be that many Prem players, though. I think Melier deserves it again. For that 1-1 game against Man City. Maybe you guys would disagree. Bellerin got two assists for their win. Uh, Hernandez, Theo Hernandez. Dude, this guy and his girlfriend are, like, mad. Mad lads. Someone, like, quote, tweeted, like, a few things from what they were doing recently, and I was like, dude, what the f... Crazy. Like, sons of anarchy, but IRL, but with a pro football player. It's weird. Um, anyways. 
I'd kiss Bellerin right in his mouth. Well, I don't, with COVID, I don't know if I would be doing anything like that, guys. Uh, anything else from the off leagues, dudes? League, uh, Rodrigo maybe for Real? What about Rodrigo for Real? This guy. He could, uh, oof. He could be pretty spicy as like an 81 rated. Maguire for Spurs man of the match. Wait. It's not Theo, it's Leo? I'm trusting you guys on this one. Wait, hold on a sec. How do you, how, what is his name? Gailino for Braha, two goals. Le, le, Leao? Leao. Le. Here. Rafael Leao. All right, cool. We're there. It's definitely not going to be Rodrigo. I didn't watch the game, so I'm, I'm trusting my chat. If my Twitch chat are out of their mind, I mean... Half of you guys were fine with me putting the completely wrong Milan player. I, I, I didn't see the Milan game. I got to watch the Milan game and the Real game tonight. Tellez, here we go. Confirmed to Man United. Cool. It, Cavani to Man United too. He'll be a good center back, hopefully, over, uh, over the fridge. So anyways, in terms of this Team of the Week 2, what a launch Team of the Week. This will be available this week on Wednesday. Everybody that ordered the higher-end versions of the game get the game on Tuesday. And then the rest of the world during the charity stream gets the uh, access to the game on October 9th. Wow. Absolutely insane as like some marquee players, let's say. St. Maxim, uh, I don't think is going to get it anymore. I think, uh, unfortunately, I would have loved... I, we, we watched that game on stream. I would love St. Maxim to get it, but it's looking like it's, it's Callum Wilson, if anything. If someone from that game gets it, it's probably going to be Callum Wilson, right? Two goals and an assist, I believe. I think it's going to be Callum Wilson. So, anyways, that is a game I watched. So, at least I can comment on it. The, the, the AC Milan and the Real game, I didn't watch it. Cresswell, potentially, as well. CR7, hat-trick incoming for Team of the Week against a zero-man-on-the-field Napoli squad. Anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the epi there. Um, I appreciate you guys for, for chilling and, and supporting the channel and, and all of that stuff, man. You guys are amazing. Um... Again, if you are upset that the poor man Road to Glory isn't here, I hope you understand what I'm doing right now. Um, however, I am not against the idea of a marquee player within a poor man. So to stop the confusion, because there's very few people that are going to be watching at the tail end of this episode here, uh, we will release a discussion video tomorrow where I take on your guys's thoughts we're going to talk about it on twitch the comment section and then i will post that video tomorrow to twitter and then we'll just see if people are down because i then at the same time i think do people care about me running up a, a poor man road to glory but with a hullet in the squad like almost acting like my welcome backpack had a rude hullet in it untradeable type of thing i don't know i'm not entirely sure um what the deal is but we'll, we'll have that discussion tomorrow god bless you guys I hope you're enjoying uh, the early days of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. I am. Long may it continue. Peace.